Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Ben. Welcome back to the channel. Now, in my last video, I mentioned that I'm going to Overland Expo West for the first time. Flagstaff, end of the month. If you're going to be there, let me know in the comments below. But in addition to that, I've got some exciting news to share. And that is that I'm going to be participating in the Overland Chef competition hosted by Metal Tech 4x4. And I'm absolutely thrilled. If you guys know me, you know that I love to go big when it comes to cooking at camp. If I can bring a little bit of that at-home cooked comfort to what I'm doing out on a trip, I'm here for it. Uh, and you guys also probably know by now that no one should have ever given me adult money. Uh, I have a problem. And that problem is that uh, after I drink a couple beers at night and I'm scrolling through Instagram, looking at pictures of forerunners, uh, every once in a while I get hit with an ad. And when I get hit with an ad for something cool, I can't help but savor that sweet, sweet dopamine rush of clicking buy now and spending money on shit I don't need. Like this. This here is the Nomad Portable Grill and Smoker. Not sponsored. I am the sucker that spent 599 bucks on this. To be fair, it was kind of on sale. They were running a deal that you got two free boxes of charcoal if you bought it. And I'm not one to pass up a chance to save money. So I spent 600 bucks to get two free boxes of charcoal. I think that math works out. Anyways, it's this grill that we're talking about today. And uh, we're not just gonna be talking about it, we're gonna be putting it to the test. Because I gotta practice. If I'm gonna show up to this Iron Chef style competition and whoop some ass, I gotta be in fighting shape. So grab a beer. I'm drinking a, a mango IPA from Barrel House Brewing, highly recommended. And uh, let's get into it. Yeah, it's a great beer. Also, I got a desk in the setup. Uh, made it myself, pretty proud of that. Bought some adjustable legs on Amazon, bought this tabletop at Home Depot, stained it. We're really doing it here, folks. Now, 600 bucks for what could be misconstrued as the newest James Bond accessory, right? Uh, this thing looks crazy. It's uh, it's portable, but it's not light. It is 28 pounds. And well, I guess that's not too bad. Let's talk specs though. 28 pounds, cast aluminum, tri-clad construction, right? These guys, check out their website if you want all the nifty details. It's patent pending. You can lay it flat, you can smoke in it, you can grill in it, you can open it up and grill on both sides of it if you buy a second grate because, of course, 600 bucks is not enough to give you two grates. It's got this nifty built-in, uh, I guess you can't see it there. <clears throat> oh, you know what I can do? I can lower things. That's pretty cool. Compared to your Traeger or your Green Egg or whatever you're running at home, this thing definitely is portable. It's 28 pounds and about 20 and a half inches long, 13 and a half inches tall, and about 10 and a half inches deep. You'll probably have to actually think about packing it though, because in my mind, it's a little bit big. This isn't just something that you throw in at the last minute for a trip. It takes up a considerable amount of what I feel like is my already limited cargo volume, but it may be worth it. I don't know. We'll have to play that by ear as uh, we actually get it out there and use it. Now, this thing is chock full of innovation if you believe all the marketing on their website. It is uh, built with some patent pending tri-clad technology so that this outer cast aluminum anodized surface never gets hot to the touch. That's pretty cool. It also has all sorts of special gaskets to seal in the heat. The grate has some fancy stuff going on there. We'll get to that in a minute. It's got magnets in places. It's got a pretty nice little built-in thermometer here that the reviews online say is actually super accurate and we'll put that to the test. And uh, overall, I, I think it's pretty cool. Also, it's got a, 
some pretty uh, convenient little airflow options to control the temperature while it's in smoking mode. Yeah, so I guess maybe the only thing I haven't talked about then fully is the grate. So it's got some pretty nice feeling latches on it to get this bad boy opened up. And inside we've got a cook box on, on both sides. Again, you have to buy that second grate if you really wanna be able to, to tailgate and do it up for a big crowd. But otherwise, so this is what the cooking grate looks like. First of all, aesthetically, I love it. Honeycomb pattern. It's got this dome shape to it to maximize uh, the charcoal volume underneath. And it's got this uh, little magnetic latching system in there so it stays put even while you've got it in briefcase mode, while you're throwing it in the back of the rig, and while you're bumping around on trails. You gotta love that. Cooking size wise, I don't know. They've got a lot of different specs in here. Supposedly, you can smoke two racks of ribs at once. On a single side, you can do 15 burgers at a, at a time. Again, if you get that second grate over here, you can really churn out the burgers. 30 burgers, that's a ton of burgers. You better have a lot of friends if you're cooking all those burgers. Should I say, should I see how many times I can say burger in this video? Because, spoiler alert, we're cooking burgers. Let's see here. So that's the inside. Yeah, you've got the, you've got the mag grate. Uh, you've got the charcoal box. You've got the airflow vents. So the vents, the vents are pretty cool. There's a, basically three built-in positions for them. There's fully closed, there's like halfway open, and there's all the way open. They have a nice feel to it. Everything about this has a nice feel to it. It's high quality stuff, and it better be for 600 bucks. Uh, so that's sort of the gist of it. All right, before we get to cooking, let's talk quickly about some initial impressions and some pros and cons I can think of off the top of my head. For the pros, it definitely feels well built uh, and it better for 600 bucks. I can see that that the design is there, the, the thought is put into it and the innovation seems to make sense, right? I like that the grill is magnetically attached so it doesn't bounce around. I like that I have airflow control if I'm gonna use this as a grill and a smoker. I like that this outer aluminum surface isn't gonna get hot to the touch. And I like all the little, the little features they thought of, right? Like the rubber feet on the bottom to keep it from sliding around, the handle, the latches even feel super sturdy. All of that is a pro in my mind. I think also the surface area, the sheer amount of food you can churn out on here is pretty cool if you wanna use it in like a tailgating situation, 4th of July barbecue situation, or, uh, group trips, right? If, if you're rolling with 10, 12 rigs deep and it's your night to cook dinner for everyone, this thing can definitely get the job done. But that brings me to a couple of cons that I think of right off the top of my head. This is probably not the only piece of camp kitchen equipment you can carry with you, especially right now. It's the end of summer in California, the whole world's on fire. That means charcoal fire bans are in place for a lot of the United States, not just California. And uh, this bad boy is gonna have to get left home on trips like that. So you're spending 600 bucks, but you still do need your regular gas stove, your regular propane accessories, all of that hang kill stuff. So, you know, that's a slight con. I, I think it's nothing against the actual, uh, the actual grill itself. It is just like, you've gotta be mindful of Charcoal is not the only solution here, given uh, the wildfire situation and fire restrictions that exist. So keep that in mind. However, the flip side of that is that this thing is definitely multi-purpose. I can imagine pulling this out in the backyard, which we're gonna do to cook on it right now, and being a, a quick and convenient way to do some grilling or smoking without having to set up my, my whole smoker and, and get that whole thing going. So. I don't know. Do with that information as you will. At the end of the day, it's up to you and whether or not you're as uh, poor with money choices as I am to spend 600 bucks on this. Uh, so there we have it. Other cons? Are there other cons? Um, I don't know. We'll see. I suppose uh, 
yeah, I, I am worried about just throwing it in the back of the Forerunner. I think you'll have to put some care into how you pack this, not just because it's so bulky, but this, uh, this thin walled cast aluminum on the outer shell of things, you don't want to damage it. Uh, I wouldn't want to scratch the nice anodization. I wouldn't like, it's almost so expensive and so nice. You want to keep it in pristine condition, right? Well, I said that about my forerunner and two days after I drove it off the lot, I was getting uh, pinstripes on it. So I don't know, we'll see how that plays out over time, but initial impressions, like a kid on Christmas morning. Tell you what, let's get some B-roll. Let's finish this beer. And then let's cook. All right, so we're out here in the backyard now. Step one, get some charcoal going. I got my chimney here. I'm just gonna do it right in uh, the section I'm gonna be grilling in. And uh, here's that Nomad charcoal I was talking about. Comes in these little trays. And they're these uh, really interesting shaped uh, briquettes, just like that. I'm probably only gonna do a couple of them here. Let's see. Eh, maybe I'll do four. What the heck? Let's get crazy with it. So I've got some paper underneath the chimney. I've got a couple fire starter cubes in here and uh, let's just get this guy lit. Perfect. So we'll let this get going for a little while, get that charcoal nice and white hot and uh, in the meantime, we'll get all our ingredients ready to roll. Well, at this point, we're pretty much there. Charcoal white hot. Let's go ahead and dump it. I'm just gonna move the grate over the top here. All right, we've got some nice direct heat going on over here. And uh, going on the grill here, some absolutely gorgeous American Wagyu burger patties. Lightly seasoned, salt, pepper, that's it. Nothing else because we're gonna do these upright with the toppings. Uh, let's go ahead and go right on the grill with these. So as those cook, let's talk about what we're doing here really quick. Uh, I guess starters. Got some nice simple brioche buns. We'll toast them up on the grill after those bad boys are cooked. Going on the buns. Got some spicy truffle mayo. You can't go wrong there. Jalapeno mustard. Oof, it's gonna be a spice bomb and I'm here for it. We're bringing the heat, baby. Melt some pepper jack cheese on there. And then something you should have in your fridge at all times. Pickled jalapenos with carrots and onions. Oh, it's gonna be perfect. And uh, some simple pickles, uh, spicy bread and butter pickles. That's what we're doing. Let's get these things to a nice medium rare. All right, let's go ahead and give these guys their first flip. It's been just a couple of minutes on that first side here. Oh yeah, those look real nice. Nice little char on, on that first side. This is going to be good. While that second side cooks, I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of avocado oil on both sides of these buns.
and we'll just go right on the grill just like that. And uh, at this point, I'll go ahead and go on with a couple slices of uh, pepper jack cheese here. Just like that. Beautiful. Look how cool those grill marks on the bun are. You get that honeycomb pattern coming through. What the heck, get both sides of the buns toasted. All right. Now, those guys are just about ready to come off. So let's go in with condiments. I'm gonna put that spicy truffle mayo on the bottom buns here. Make sure we get enough so you know it's there. Well, let's do this jalapeno mustard. Ooh, this looks good. Going with the jalapeno mustard on the top bun. pull off our burgers. Very nice, very nice. And right on top here, I'm gonna hit it with a couple of these jalapenos. Get some of the onions too, that's the good stuff. And last but not least, let's make sure we do a couple of pickles. All right, check these out. American Wagyu burgers off the Nomad portable grill and smoker. First cook on it. I'm impressed, but let's dig in for the taste test. That's incredible. Mm. Oh, mama. All right, I'm about to chow down on these burgers. Tell you what, let me know in the comments below what you wanna see me cook next on this Nomad portable smoker and grill. I think we've gotta put that smoker mode to the test here. And uh, until next time, get out and explore somewhere.